Have you ever experienced a fire in your home? I guess it's the question which always arises, uh, which is the likelihood that this could happen to me and my loved ones? To which extent a fire can affect my property? And how fire safety standards support engineers in protecting my home? The British standard PD 79747 of 2003 provides useful techniques and methodologies to create probabilistic risk assessment, is considered at the base of every fire safety design in buildings, and presents data, fire statistical data, from 1966 to 1987. Therefore, it is essential to understand if those data are still representative of current fire scenarios in buildings. The standard of 2003 was updated in 2019, also considering a study developed during my PhD at the University of Edinburgh, in which the data of the PD79747 of 2003 were compared to current US fire statistics. It is in this slide that the study and the research developed in this paper will redevelop the table of the PD79747 of 2003 and extend the comparison with the US fire statistics considering a private and a public datasets of the Home Office of England. The incident recording system presents information on every incident, fire incident attended by the Fire and Rescue Service in England. The other building datasets have data from 2010-11 to 2016-17 and has been applied for every analysis developed during this paper except for the evaluation of the fire frequency in relation to the total building floor space. This is due to the fact that the public datasets does not have information about the building characteristics. Therefore, the Home Office kindly provided the authors with a private database in which the building dimension and other more detailed fire, fire statistical fields are available to create a direct comparison with the PD79747 of 2003 and the US fire statistics. More than half a million UK and US fire statistical data have been investigated and compared to the guidelines provided by the PD79747. The direct comparison explains if the data are still representative of fire incident and if they well approximate and describe the performances of real buildings subjected to real fire incident. The direct comparison and the current evaluation of fire statistical data are essential in nowadays current engineering practice to evaluate the likelihood and consequences of fire incident and understand how various safety measures have an impact on the reduction of fire spread. The overall probability of fire starting in various property types has been determined considering a duration between the number of fires, the total number of fires, and the total number of buildings at risks, where the total number of fires are based on the data provided by the UK and US fire statistics, and the total number of buildings at risks obtained based on the Valuation Office Agency in the UK and the US Census Bureau in the US. The updated values for non-residential buildings and the classes investigated are those presented in the PD79747, but for storage in the US and assembly non-residential in the UK and the US, a direct comparison has not been possible. Values for PD79747 seem to overestimate contemporary fire statistics for the UK and US. In particular, for industrial, when it appears to be four times, assembly entertainment approximately two times, and a hospital five times greater than the maximum value in the other two statistics. PD79747 only underestimates the probability in schools. Trends appear uniform, where PD79747 generally overestimates the probability of fire starting, showing a reduction of fires in current fire statistics, probably due to an improvement of fire safety measures in buildings. The frequency of fire starting in various property type, uh, according to the total building dimensions of the PD79747, is based on a power law with polynomial exponent, as suggested by Rudsten. However, when we compare this power law with positive exponent provided by the PD79747 with current UK and US fire statistics, we can see that the power law suggested usually overestimate the trends of the fire statistics. Therefore, it has been seen, based on the analysis developed in this research, that usually a power law could assume a positive or a negative exponent, or a polynomial function of third or second of third order seems to better approximate the distribution. 
This could be due to a common distribution found in various property types, in which there is usually a decrease of the fire frequency till a minimum and then a gradual increase after the minimum. Moreover, it is important to affirm that the data needs to be considered with a high degree of caution and with the differences and uncertainties that inevitably arise between the data and the fitted curves. In industry and manufacturing, PD79747 appears to overestimate the trends obtained in the UK and US statistics, and if a power law is applied, it shows a negative exponent instead of a positive one, with a R square equal to 0.055 in the UK and 0.482 in the US. The law which better describes the trend in the UK, although still poorly, is a polynomial of third order. In storage, the IOS curve is represented by a power law obtained considering a positive exponent. But PD79747 assumes higher values than those described in the UK statistics, where a second order polynomial function best approximates the data. In the US, the third order polynomial function well describes the distribution. The area damaging square meters has been investigated according to various property types, fire origin locations, and the presence or absence of automatic extinguishing systems. In the UK fire statistics, there is a further subdivision in, of the area damaged into fire and total damage, where fire damage is related to the total horizontal area damaged in square meters by fire and flame, while the total damage is referred to the total horizontal area damage in square meters caused by fire, flame, smoke and water damage. The area damage of the US fire statistics is only referred to fire damage. Moreover, in the PD79747, there is a distinction when the fire spread is confined to the room of origin, and this distinction is related to the fact that the fire could affect only the context, contents or also the structure involved. When we consider UK and US fire statistics, further classes of fire spread are available when the spread of fire exceeds the room of origin and the floor of origin. In the UK statistics, fires when sprinklers are reported are very limited in number, if compared to the ones for unsprinkler buildings. Therefore, general comments on fire spread when sprinklers are present are difficult to deduce, but as found in the analysis for the US statistics, the average damage for presence of safety system is in general less than the one for their absence. Moreover, the area damage in the UK and US statistics increases with the increase of the spread of fire, with total damage usually greater than the fire damage. Fire frequency generally presents the highest values of spread within the room of origin for both countries with some peaks found for fire affecting the whole building. The room of origin usually represents a compartment and, an and the analysis developed shows that compartmentation is effective. The frequency distribution of area damage is usually evaluated according to the number of fires. Since in the UK statistics there is a further distinction between fire and total damage, in the analysis both of them have been considered. Unfortunately, in the PD79747 of 2003, it is not, not clear if the area damage is usually referred to the fire or the total damage. Presence and absence of automatic extinguishing systems has, have also been investigated in the analysis. Similar results have been found for the analysis of the three property types and different fire locations where PD79747 is compared to UK and US statistics. In general, PD79747 seems to overestimate the fire's damage and underestimate the total damage if compared to UK statistics, but is closer to UK prediction than those found using US statistics. It appears that some improvements have been applied in the fire safety in the UK in the last 30 to 50 years. This could be due to new technologies in safety devices, new construction techniques and materials, and the application of performance-based design. However, it is difficult to understand which of the above-mentioned factors could have an implication, and it would be important to assess and investigate the evolution of the fire statistical data in an extended period of time, and also target specific problems with the detailed fire statistical fields. The fire statistics described and investigated in this research can be used with the new British standard PD79747 of 2019. Further work will be based on the application of the fire statistical databases in probabilistic risk assessments. Moreover, it is very important to apply a continuous revisions and optimization of the fire statistics in time to understand 
fire, various fire safety measures uh, and uh, the beneficial aspect of fire safety design in uh, re the reduction of fire incidents.